Hey guys, it's been a very long time. So in this video, what I'm basically going to show you is an alternative to the other method what I showed you, which is quite lengthy, which involved you opening up many different programs to this um, alternative method that um, I've been working with with a developer named Matthew. And it should hopefully make the process more streamlined. This program will essentially be a combination of a OCR, and the clipboard inserter as well as Anki exportation and support for vision models. So let's get into this. To use game to text, simply double click the EXE and wait for it to load. And then simply click select application. I'm going to test out a video game that I'm playing. So I'm going to click this. And now I have my switch up. So I'm going to test Later Mystery Journey. And if you'd like to do OCR, simply drag over your screen and click and drag. And then simply just let go. A few seconds later, the result comes up. And if you also have Yomi Channel installed on your browser, you can simply just select over these words and you can get your definition. Something also which is cool is that you can go onto your logs file and then if we hover over a word that we'd like to save, we can simply preview the word audio. Umei. And then there's a definition here and we can click save to Anki. And then once it's saved in Anki, we can go to our Anki browser, click browse on this deck. I want to show everything in my current deck. Here is our card. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So let me show you how to set up Anki. To set up Anki, you click on the Anki button, make sure Anki Connect is installed, select your deck, and then you can also search whatever deck you want to do by typing in your deck name. So I'm going to call it this, and then find your uh, model, and then simply fill in all the columns. So sentence is basically the sentence you've OCR'd, glossary is a definition, reading is just a fully gunner version of the word, screenshot is your screenshot. Audio is the audio that you may have recorded. Word audio is the word audio which is right here. So in my previous selection, the word audio was not applied to my audio field. And selected text, which is you know the text what you selected. So in this case it's Fume. You can also test out different dictionaries. Here we got JM Dick. You can also use um, the Super Daijirin. You can also use um, Daiji Sen and you can use Shin Meikai and the Kinkyu Sha dictionary. So once you've got all that sorted, when you just hover over words, boom, boom, you can simply just add cards very quickly. If you'd also like to do dark mode on your logs, you can simply click dark mode. So I'm going to be showcasing something pretty cool, which is game script matching. So let me show you this in action with Pokemon Shield. First of all, you want to make sure that your script is in the game script folder. So game script folder is simply in games text. There's a folder named game scripts. And I have my Pokemon Sword and Shield text file here. So once that is confirmed, simply click Pokemon Sword and Shield and do your OCR selection. So after we have done our OCR selection, we can simply click this and then it will give us some selections of what could possibly be the more accurate OCR result matched on the game script we put in. Though it seems that this is the most accurate OCR and there's no similar results here, So let's get this line. Hmm, 
simply click this and then here is our result so it's more closer to what we have here here in our result we have a little error with the escalation mark in the OCR as well as the number five and some other values which cover up the sheet so we can simply click this result and it's more accurate and then our OCR result also updates so if you'd like to make a card simply just use Yomi-chan or you can simply hover over this button that's also another way but I am going to use Yomi-chan and then I'm simply going to save to Anki so after all that we have our card right here in Anki now I would like to test a more tricky OCR result with a more complicated background so I'm going to switch windows with my photo viewer for this example so to do that you click settings and you click select new application window and I'd like to select this so here we have Zelda Twilight Princess and let's use default tesseract and see what result we have so as you can see the result is really not good and it's because of this complex background the blur that is used and etc so in order to modify this simply right click and then you have a preview of the image and then we'd like to enable some options so first of all no click binarize i'm going to click invert color as well and i'll just want to mess around with this binarize number um, value should i say until i have a very decent image where we can clearly see these characters do I have to dilight? I don't think so so dilight just makes it more defined okay so let me just refresh the search and try it once again with the filter we just applied So now that we've tried the filter once again, we can see it's a lot better than the jumble we had previously. So now, you know, it recognized jumble, right? Better. Um, it messed up with Giddy, but what you can do, you can simply click here and change things manually. So this is a lot better compared to previously and basically got most of most of this a lot better compared to previously that's one way to improve the accuracy of these results you can also save these by clicking export it comes up as you know the back window not at the top for the time being and then you can save it as i don't know a zelda twilight princess So anytime you are playing, my apologies, you can load this up and you can get going. Lastly, I'm going to test out one of our most ambitious uh, features, and that is text hooker integration. So for this, I'm going to use Naked Power. And if we'd like to hook, simply click Visual Novel Hooker, type in the application, click, and then click Game Start. So begin your game. 
and we would want to click this line. And here we go, it's all working. So from this point onwards, the line should work automatically. Take up the game script when you're done, because if you don't do that, then it will automatically try and search based on what you have going on. And then scientists click ahead. And it works fine. So if you'd like to make a card, then what you'd simply do is exactly what we did before. So hover over with Yomi-chan or simply hover over this. And you can also click and select here in order to make a selection. You just change it. And if I want to record audio, then I'll simply click record audio. Click this again. And there we go. Arigatou gozaimashita. Dewa, shitreishimasu. Click that to you know, replay it. And now we got audio on this and we simply want to save this to Anki. Arigatou gozaimashita. Dewa, shitreishimasu. So there we go, a full Anki card from a vision novel, including audio. So yeah, that is pretty cool. Now we got that all sorted and it'll definitely speed up some people's workflow when it comes to mining from vision novels. So let's explore some of these options. Let's go on to our settings. And our OCR engine is basically the OCR engine which is going to process the text. Mm, by default, it should be on one of the Tesseract options. Um, Tesseract is the OCR engine that um, captures the text users, um, and it's three versions. One is the legacy, more captures the text users. Default is a more up to date version, and um, LSTM, in, I think you're using the other networks. You don't have to worry about that. But Tesseract is definitely the fastest OCR. OCR space is a bit more accurate, but it takes a lot more time to um, get your results back. And you've got two servers, one for America and one for the Europe. So just change the servers depending on um, how much traffic may be going on in the day. So you get the font size, your dark theme, audio. So I recently set up my audio um, and I've got a virtual audio line on my PC and I'm putting it on here so I can capture audio. Picture. Um, so you, know, you can just leave this by default, you can just save your screenshots and um, you know, I resize my screenshots so it can be a bit smaller. Translation, you can use different translation services from Papago, DeepL and Google and you can change hotkeys right here. And um, if you ever need to copy this to a clipboard, so you can just use click text clipboard and then this will copy this onto the clipboard so you can use it for other program programs such as J Glossator or um, anything you like really. So here's J Glossator um, and let us see whether this works. Let's go to the next line in, in Layton and then we can click the refresh button. And here we got the next text. And it popped up in J Glossator as well. So that's pretty cool. I've got a separate tutorial describing how to set up J Glossator. So feel free to check out that. Also, other features we got here is an auto mode. So when you just want to play a game and make OCR selections automatically, you can use auto mode. So let's just say we're playing. My apologies, let me adjust the box. There we go. Wasn't the most accurate, but ooh, there we go. Cool. So as you can see, this is just auto mode in action. 
And what usually happens is game detect usually tries its best to detect when the screen has changed and show a result after that. And if you want to use a translation feature, simply click the label translation. And there you go. Sadly, for, for some reason, Papago wasn't working, so I switched to DeepL Translator. Um, you can also use Google. And yeah, so um, this is pretty helpful if you are new to learning Japanese and you just want some assistance. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this video helped. Let me know if you have any questions or any other improvements or further videos. I hope to get back to you soon. So thanks and see you soon.